A functional impression records the tissue in an active state, as opposed to a static or anatomical impression. The patient is guided through a rehearsed series of muscular and mandibular movements to record functional limitations to the borders of the denture. The tray is constructed from the diagnostic cast and is further refined in the mouth. The maxillary custom tray is designed to allow the recording of the functional border movements of peripheral tissue. Relief is provided to allow a uniform one millimeter space for impression material. It is sufficiently thick to resist breakage. The tray is designed to be two millimeters short of the tissue reflections. This allows the functioning of the peripheral limiting tissue to be carried out unimpeded. Distally the tray extends to the hamular notch and extends two millimeters beyond the vibrating line. The handle is positioned to minimize interference with the movement of the upper lip. The tray should have no sharp spots. The edges should be smooth and rounded. The mandibular custom tray permits freedom of movement of the tongue. The tray has no relief to avoid bulkiness. It extends to the retromolar pad. Using the maxillary cast, draw a solid line in the depth of the sulcus. Trace a dotted line approximately two millimeters above the solid line. Both lines extend through the hamular notch and two millimeters beyond the vibrating line as seen in the diagram. Draw four tissue stops as seen on the diagram and with the approximate dimensions shown. Draw similar lines on the mandibular cast as seen in the diagram. Block out undercut areas with base plate wax in the areas noted. Paint the surface with alcoat or other separating medium and allow to dry. Place one sheet of base plate wax as seen in the diagram. Cut out areas in the wax as seen. Trim the wax along the dotted line. Place Vaseline all over the surface of the cast and wax. Place triad in the area of tissue stops. Adapt one sheet of triad as seen in the diagram. Trim the triad at the dotted line. Add handles as noted in the diagram. Cure the triad as noted in the slide. Curing of the oxygen inhibited layer of the triad may be accomplished by placing a thin layer of Vaseline over the triad material and continuing to cure. The tray is removed from the cast. Removal of the wax is optional at this point. Keeping the wax may be useful in stabilizing the tray during functional registration of the border tissue, border molding. The tray is trimmed to the dotted line. The tray must have no sharp spots. Borders of the tray should be smooth and rounded. Review the criteria for the maxillary tray. Review the criteria for the mandibular tray.